Welcome back to Bros Ride Bikes. We are out here staying in Chicago, but five days of racing crits in Wisconsin at Tour of America's Dairyland. We are stoked. Took a red eye flight last night, but we made it. We're doing a chill spin today, and yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Harry Lasker sighting in the wild. Five days of crit, 15, 16, and 1718 rigs together. Yeah, but it should be fun. It's a little hot out. It's gonna be awesome. We're stoked. Let's go. It is day one of Toad Cedarburg today. I think that's the name, but we are stoked to be out here. This is gonna be the most races we've done, like five days straight of racing. I think before this, we've only done up to three, so it's gonna be crazy to see how the body responds after five days. But yeah, we're looking forward to it, and we're gonna go start day one, Cedarburg, first crit of Toad. Let's go. Here we have Nolan Church. Off the curve. Legend. We're jumping in to day one of Toad. This is Cedarburg and we are five laps to go here. Because of the SD storage on our camera and how many days of racing there were, we just decided to record around like the last five laps of each race. Um, so yeah, I've been chilling at the back most of this race. Uh, I was kind of racing timidly, not super aggressive, and I've been paying for it doing a lot of extra unnecessary work, but uh, in these final laps, I know that I have to get up to the front, and so I start making my way up there, and yeah, trying to get in good position and ready for the sprint. Eli, you've been a little more active. You got a $100 preem in the race, which we were stoked about originally, um, and then, yeah, you have been trying to do some attacks and stuff. What were you thinking, and how were you feeling? Yeah, I was uh, trying to stay towards the front somewhat but it's a it's a, a little different out here they race a little different especially the juniors it makes for a really fast and sketch race so i was really trying to stay near the front but uh yeah i was doing that and how were how were you feeling yeah uh i was feeling good but we're going into three to go right here this is the downhill section of the course and you see we're really wide across the road we're not going fast at all. Um, and some kid just overlaps a wheel, goes down, takes out me, Eli, and a bunch of other riders. I unfortunately just went like went into the grass. Um, no road rash or anything for me or Eli, but I broke three spokes. Um, and Eli, you broke a shifter, which was really unfortunate. You couldn't finish the race. Uh, I got back on my bike and tried to chase back on and actually caught the group uh, on one to go and then I was just dead for the sprint. I was at the back of the field, and so I just rolled across the line, but happy to be able to ride my bike um, and not have a bunch of road rash. So we ended up going to Ben's Cyclery after uh, the stage to get our bikes fixed. Uh, and yeah, he, they were awesome. They fixed our bikes on the spot, which was huge. And yeah, we were stoked to get to race the next four days of Toad. Elon and I both had a very unfortunate crash with about three laps to go. Um, Eli broke a shifter and I broke three spokes. So we are headed to a bike shop right now to see if we can get it fixed and see if we can be able to race the next four days. So let's go see, fix our bike. Day two, 
it's like the five mile circuit race and should be some pretty hard crosswind action going on so i'm gonna try to stay near the front maybe try and blow people a little bit uh but yeah should be hard we're gonna go warm up it's kind of hot out but yeah let's go you yep. day two this is mount pleasant eli we're on the last lap this is your camera you are in a breakaway of 11 riders you want to tell us how you got in the breakaway yeah so today we were uh uh, we uh, we did 10 laps of the Mount Pleasant course and it was probably what a five mile circuit and the pros only did seven so we were like oh what's going on here and then we weren't really prepared for the, all 10 laps so it was a really hot really like sunny day so the sun was just on us the whole time except for all, when the clouds were over us but it made for a real humid hot race and it was very windy out in Wisconsin over here so yeah that also played a big factor and the only way I got uh, in this breakaway was for it was like people were one guy went with like probably two laps in and then uh, everybody was like at, at different times bridging across and I bridged and there's probably what four of us four or five of us when we bridged and then eventually the selection there was a selection of uh, 11 which actually uh, went away from the field and yeah so I, that's how I made it across. And then I was, we were all doing like a little pace line sort of thing during, uh, during the whole race, Jack, what was happening back in the field. Yeah, I mean, I kept trying to bridge across with other people. Um, and yeah, I just could not get away. I, I even like guttered the field in the crosswind and we got gaps, but uh, people would not pull through with me. And people were telling me that my brother was up the road which yeah was true but uh, we're in different categories and I wanted to be in the breakaway like there's 11 guys up here um, I felt like I needed to be up here so I kept trying to bridge but just couldn't make the separation that was necessary with the right people of riders to get up here and once this group got up to 11 and they were working uh, it was much much harder to make it up to the breakaway so three laps to go I kind of gave up hope and uh, I was just gonna save my energy for the sprint um, from the field for like 24th. There were a bunch of like other individual riders that ended up getting a gap too. So it was a bummer for me, but Eli, you're up here. We're going into the sprint. Why don't you break it down for us? Yeah, so uh, before the sprint with like one lap to go, Joaquin from Hot Tubes uh, attacked uh, the group of 11 and he we let him ride solo for like half a lap. And, and we were working pretty good as a uh, as a group to pull him back, but eventually, like in the uh, head crosswind, we all just like were looked at each other, and nobody wanted to work. I don't know why. I was pretty confused. I was like, uh, we can we gotta roll this. The race is won at the front, and the race is uh, being won off the front. So, yeah, I was like, I don't know why people weren't pulling through, and like skimming pulls. But I feel I I feel like everybody was cooked, and I was I was pretty cooked, not gonna lie. But yeah, everybody was feeling it. So eventually, uh, Joaquin solos to the finish, and then we start our sprint pretty much from the turn, and that's probably what 500 meters from the finish, and everybody's just trying to attack each other, and I'm trying to surf wheels. But uh, like I said, we were all pretty tired, and I was only to as you can see here, I was only able to sprint for like eighth on the day. And the second fifteen sixteen, uh, the second fifteen sixteen uh, of the day. So I feel like it was pretty good. Uh, it was really hot, a little hum, a little humid, but yeah, overall a good day. And yeah, ready for the ready for the next day. Yeah. So Eli did awesome making the break um, and doing the sprint. And now I was pretty disappointed not being able to make it, but. I figured might as well get some practice and go for this sprint from this uh, small group behind. So we go into the final corner and we basically start launching it from there. And I just keep telling myself, be patient, be patient, be patient. Uh, don't go yet. Um, and yeah, uh, a bunch of riders start to just attack and launch um, and we're single file. The road kind of bends to the right. So I'm on the left right here, which honestly was not the best. But uh, yeah, people keep attacking and then I see the finish line in sight and I, I'm like, I gotta go now or never. 
Uh, the race leader who won the previous uh, day is right there to the right. And so I just launch as hard as I can um, and end up being able to hold off everyone on the left side uh, and take the sprint from the field for like 24th place. So I was kind of bummed I didn't make the break, but looking on the bright side that we have three days left and that Eli was up there and had a stellar ride. Mm -hmm. Alrighty guys, day three of Toad Bayview, and man, this was this was a nice uh nice hard race. The course pretty bumpy, a nice little uh, hairpin in there, and yeah, it was all right. Uh, I had an okay day. Jack, how how was it going for you? Yeah, it was pretty technical. This was definitely a course where you're we're gonna want to be up at the front, and so it was honestly just like 50 minutes of fighting for position because with this hairpin, it was so much easier to be in the top 10 guys so yeah honestly it was just fighting for position all race but we're five laps to go here kelly benefits is off the front hot tubes is chasing uh eli you actually had a mishap earlier in the race on that u-turn why don't you tell them about it yeah so i was uh i was going down and i was uh on the left side and as you can see on the left there's like puddles and that was right before the hairpin and I just wiped out on the hairpin. My like tires got wet and just lost it. So I just slid out, just uh, just me, and didn't take anybody, anybody out with me. And I, uh, yeah, it was a bummer. I tore my hip up a little bit and my elbow. But other than that, it was all right. But they, took, they wrote down my number really quick, which kind of sucked. But because I couldn't get a free lap and hop back in. So I had uh, ended up just uh, DNFing. And yeah, I was uh, looking forward to the next day, but it kind of sucked that uh, I kind of race and finish this race. But Jack, uh, jump to you. What's going on in those last few laps? Yeah, so I'm just trying to stay up at the front. Um, I got up here seven laps to go and felt like I did a pretty good job at staying uh, near the front. Um, but then in the last like two laps, we just kind of got swarmed. Um, and I like didn't hold my position great and kind of got shuffled back to like around 15th to maybe 20th. Uh, so there was like 70 starters in this field. So I'm still like in the top 50%, but not up where I need to be. And then, yeah, last lap, I was kind of like scrambling, just going all out to fight for position, but we're going so fast on the last lap that it was kind of like too little too late with this technical of a course. Um, it was also a bummer that Eli crashed out because he was going to try and help lead me out and get me in position. So yeah, I kind of blew the end of this race, but I think I rolled in for 15th on the day. So it's better than crashing out like Eli for sure. <laughs> I think there were four crashes in this race. Uh, it was a super sketch. They were all on that U-turn, which was wild. So I was happy to stay upright and be able to roll across the finish line. Alrighty, this is day four of Toad Shorewood. Um, we've had a lot of bad luck in the first half of Toad, so we're hoping for some better luck today. Uh, this course is a four-corner crit with a chicane in it. Um, honestly, we pre-rode it. Uh, it was not that technical. There were some like grates and manhole covers in the middle of the corners that you had to watch out for, but this chicane was honestly not bad at all. It was pretty safe, so I was looking forward to this crit um, and yeah, trying to go for some moves in the breaks but honestly i was expecting this race to come to a sprint yeah i w i played probably the first half of this race at the back because everybody uh like i said was wanting to be at the front so they would like when they they would sprint out of every turn 
and then uh, right before a turn they would pull a lot of brake especially the guys in the middle because the road wasn't crazy wide so uh, I just sat at the back let a few wheels open up and then I would catch everybody on the next turn so I say I tried to save a lot of energy but then after that uh, in the second half I tried to especially move up and get to the near the front and I knew we kind of knew that a brake wasn't gonna go so uh, we when guys went off the front uh, we weren't we weren't worried about it so yeah we going into what five to go right here and or something like that but yeah we're trying to keep near the front but the front would get swarmed and that kind of sucks so you always had to uh, take little gaps that would open even if you were tired you just have to go and take it yeah there were no real teams dominating this race um, so like in the final laps uh, when people weren't attacking and chasing, it kind of got like uh, bunched up and there were swarms, so that made it really difficult to hold position. Um, so we're going into the last lap right here, and I am pretty far back. I think there was a swarm, and I just like didn't go with it, and so I got shuffled to the back, which was a bummer. Eli, you take some ripping lines on the outside to move up. Uh, I should have followed you, but that honestly looked pretty sketch at the time. But it it got you into position, so you're actually in really good position at the front. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to move up uh, as best I can. But it's so hard when we're all across the road and uh, there's no real spots to move up. So I was kind of bummed. It felt like I have just been getting swarmed the past couple of days and not fighting enough to hold my position at the front but Eli going into the sprint what are you thinking uh, I, was, uh, I was thinking that I need to get a little farther up I was probably what sixth or seventh out of the turn and I wanted to be more like third or fourth uh, because it was a long sprint but not well not really like a really really long sprint so as you can see here we get, we're coming out the turn and everybody just goes like and now we're all like all the guys at the front are eating wind going all across the road trying to uh drag race each other and i get by like one guy but it's not enough to get get past the rest so i end up rolling for fifth and i was first in the 15 16 so i was uh pretty pretty stoked on this day after crashing the day before and we we're looking forward to uh tomorrow yeah the next day yeah super stellar ride from eli i think i rolled in like 20th on this day or something so I was really looking forward to the next day um, to try and get some redemption and fight for the front in the final laps so let's jump into the final day of Toad. day five we're here and it's raining the floor is all wet the course is all wet so it should be nice and slick and yeah this is day five uh, get ready and then go warm up let's go all right guys so this is the last and final day of the junior series at toad the downer avenue and yeah it was it was a wild one it like rained literally the race all the races before us and now it kind of stopped but the roads are still wet and uh everybody's trying to full send all three of the turns so yeah i made for a pretty sketch and pretty fast race yeah there's another uh more than 90 degree turn on this course so you definitely wanted to stay at the front at this race so you weren't sprinting out of that but honestly, I really enjoyed this course. It was a fun one. I did a great job at staying up at the front for the first half of this race. Um, even got in some breaks. There was one that I really wanted to roll with Jack Ray and one other rider, but didn't end up sticking. So Eli, why don't you tell him yeah. about your mishap before the race with your gears? Yeah, so before the race, probably on like when they gave us a free lap to like ride the course, my, uh, gears my shimano gears just ended up deciding to die 
and I was stuck in like my 5213. So it wasn't a crazy hard gear, but it wasn't like hard when we, uh, not, it was, wasn't big enough. So when we were going really fast, I, get, uh, I was really spinning out. So that kind of, it kind of sucked, but like, the, like, like Jack was saying, there was more than, there was one turn that was more than 90 degrees. So I really had to, it, it took me a little while to get rolling over it, over the gear after we made that turn. And yeah, it was, other than that, it was a good race for me. I think uh, without the gears, I, we could have done uh, pretty good, you know, done really well. Yeah, so with your gears being dead, it kind of changed the dynamic of the race for you. Uh, you wouldn't really be able to sprint at the end, so you kind of tried to roll more brakes and be more aggressive in this race, right? Yeah, so when I got, I it took me a little while to get to the front, and after that, probably with uh, 10 to go, I threw a nice little counterattack after everybody sprinted for like some like point supreme or something, and I got off the front for probably four, five, five or six laps. I had uh, the biggest gap I heard from uh, a person standing on the sideline with his uh, stopwatch out was like 20 seconds, and I was feeling really good because I was stuck in this one gear, so I had to like get on top of it, and it kept I just kind of kept my speed up. So I got this 20 second gap and I was like, oh, this could be it. I could roll this. And I was feeling really good. Uh, but I, every time I looked back, I was like, oh, they're right there, but they're not right there. So I'm going to keep going, keep rolling this. But eventually, uh, uh, Jack, we want to tell him about yeah, it. Yeah, I back in the field honestly thought Eli was going to stick this solo break. Uh, but then Kelly Benefits sent uh, one or two guys to the front to like go all out to chase Eli back. Um, and they spent a couple laps doing it, but Eli ended up getting brought back uh, by Kelly Benefits. Uh, I think going into three or four to go, so you kind of were blown up at that point. Um, and I was on my own to try to stay at the front, and it was uh, pretty much a sure thing that it was going to be a sprint at this point. Uh, so let's go to the last lap and see how it plays out. Yeah, so at the, uh, it's the last lap here. I'm pretty much at the back. Because I'm, uh, I'm pretty. I was pretty cooked, and Jack, I told, uh, yeah, you were doing pretty good. You were like, uh, f uh, floating from like mid pack to like near the front. So you were getting ready to, uh, go for the sprint, and we're in pretty good position. You want to talk about that? Yeah, I'm third wheel right here. Um, but there's no none of the sprinters are in front of me. Kelly Benefits is trying to keep it fast for their guys. Um, and then Jack Dimar, who has won two stages uh, in this year's Toad, uh, comes up my inside going into this U-turn, and he's like, yo, let me in, let me in. And I was like, all right, you're like one of the best sprinters here. So I let him in front of me, and I was like, all right, now this is perfect. Like, I have a sprinter in front of me. I'm third wheel. Um, Kelly Benefits is keeping it fast. Um, so then uh, Ben comes up my left, and he passes me. Um, and then Joaquin, who is in the race leader's jersey, is also coming up next to me. And we're going into two corners to go right here. Um, and Jack Dimar on the front just wipes out uh, and takes out like the top 10 to 15 guys with him, which was a real bummer. I think this crash could have been avoided. Uh, we were kind of like on the inside of the road. Uh, we could have been on the outside and taken a better line. Uh, but the roads were just so slick and uh, yeah, it was kind of hard to know that so It was a bad line choice for sure But uh, at the end of the day, I think he was protecting the inside and trying not to get past so it was a real bummer uh, I slid a bunch and got a bunch of road rash on my hip uh, Which is recovering and healing up uh, But yeah, I was pretty bummed because this was the first day I was like in position for the sprint and I was feeling good, uh, and yeah, I just got crashed out, so uh, really unfortunate. We kind of had a very unlucky toad this year, um, but yeah, honestly, we, it, we were stoked to be able to do five days of racing crits. Uh, we come from SoCal, which is crits is like all we do, so we were stoked, uh, and yeah, we'll definitely be back next year.
we've had such an awesome week out at the tour of America's Dairyland, but some unfortunate crashes really uh, stopped us from doing the best we could. But honestly, it was just a cool experience and an awesome time. Yeah, we definitely learned a lot and five days of racing crits was so epic. Uh, yeah, I was definitely bummed, especially on the last day with that crash, but Overall, I was happy with the experience, and yeah, like Eli said, I can't wait to go back next year. As always, you know it, Bros Drive Bikes! bikes.